necessary. A cryptocurrency platform for all people everywhere. A cryptocurrency platform for all people everywhere. Changing paradigms, breaking the obstacles. Credit equity, purity for all involved in all to set the lines. From gaming to lottery to banking and finance. Retail and trade, hospitality and travel. Here, Genesis One. Genesis One in all to set of the lines. From gaming to lotteries. To banking and finance, retail and trade. Yeah. Genesis One. Genesis One. Genesis One. Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome back to Genesis 1. And welcome back to our Chicago series as we continue on our tour of the city, enjoying the sights and sounds of downtown, at the same time enjoying a wide variety of dining options available. Chicago is a melting pot with little niches of culture found everywhere. One thing I will never get used to is this Midwest weather. It's Mother's Day weekend here, and by all accounts, coming from Miami, we were expecting some more spring-like weather. I'm <laughs> not here, folks. We definitely had to bring out the cooler weather gear as temperatures routinely dipped into the low 50s and 60s Fahrenheit, eh, about 12 to 17 degrees Celsius. It was raining during the afternoon, and as we were walking about to cross the street, we went past the building, and bam, we were hit face on with a huge gust of wind coming from Lake Michigan. We were so taken aback at the ferocity of the wind, we backed up and took refuge behind the walls of the building until the light changed so we could cross the street. One woman literally lost her wig as the wind knocked it off and carried it away in the fierce Chicago wind. Now, here we go over the Lake Michigan and Chicago skyline vista. And we're going to draw you into the bustling downtown Michigan area leading up to where we stayed on this trip, the Drake Hotel. Now, as promised from our last episode, it's time for our room review. Now, we stayed on the 10th floor near the executive lounge of this iconic Hilton property. The lounge, though, was still closed due to COVID. But here in our room, you'll see the lovely finishes and small details, all while maintaining the original look and feel of this historic property. And now we'll gather up our stuff and head downstairs to see some of the event spaces used for weddings, family socials, and business functions. On the Genesis One front, yesterday we received word from our developers that the Neo Genesis Cyber Lottery is completed and is now headed into the testing phase. Now the Cyber Lottery will in effect allow a user anywhere in the world to participate in weekly drawings for the major lotteries of the world. But We'll go over more of that throughout the video, so be sure to stay to the end. Now, as we leave the hotel, we'll drive and walk around to visit downtown and see some of the shops and other famous hotel properties. Here we see the Chicago Willis Tower which was originally known as the Chicago Sears Tower, covered up in a cloud bank. And there is the Michigan Avenue Bloomingdale's, Louis Vuitton, and the Four Seasons Hotel. Over here, we've arrived at the Newberry Library. It's an independent research library specializing in the humanities and located in Washington Square and uh, it was established in 1887 but as we continue to walk through the area let's talk a little bit more about the Neo Genesis Cyber Lottery so let's say you're in Bali or Shanghai and want to enter the New York Mega Ball or the Euro Millions for instance by simply opening the app and entering in your credentials and finding the lottery you want to play you choose your entry and the amount based on whatever you hold in your company Genesis One Wallet and you select play. You wait for the confirmation and simply wait 
in that drawing. Now, if you select the winning numbers, that's it. Whatever the prize is for the drawing you've won will deliver it to you in fiat, gen one, or Bitcoin. Best of all, all the winnings are insured, so you are guaranteed to receive whatever amount the winning numbers were, just as if you were present standing in that line in New York, Florida, California, Europe, South Africa, or Russia yourself buying your ticket. I just listed off we have lotteries from all the major markets as well as custom gen 1 lotteries that are separate from traditional lotteries gen 1 neo genesis lotteries are distinct in that we offer various prizes in addition to the first place cash prizes For instance, we'll offer prizes ranging from brand new cars, major electronics and appliances, all purchased in your home country for immediate delivery. Other prizes include constructing brand new homes, destination trips, job opportunities locally and internationally. The beauty of the Neo Genesis lotteries is that we account for the possibility that some users may not have access to a smartphone or have internet access at all. So for that we provide access to both the Neo Genesis lottery and the Genesis One ecosystem through various master affiliates that we have arrangements with on the ground in country be able to process initiating and transacting activities in your accounts as well as allowing for Neo Genesis and Gen 1 Cyber Lottery play. With inflation at or near 40 year levels and no remedy coming for that anytime soon, people have to start looking at preserving their wealth, portfolio holdings, or value of whatever assets they may hold, or simply preserving your ability to buy everyday essentials based on your current earning power. So this is where Gen 1 comes in. Because of Gen 1's independence from any governmental body, or geographical economic systems, Gen 1 can afford to mitigate against continued inflationary pushes or volatile holdings by allowing you to make use of the inherent stability the Gen 1 ecosystem can offer you in mitigating against many types of financial cross-border or currency exchange risk by its growing acceptance across all borders. Understand this, people look to short-term gains all the time nowadays, but true 
generational wealth comes from the long game. Understanding that building a platform right brings a multiplicity of growth and prosperity that benefits all of us. One thing is true, the 9 to 5 grind doesn't allow for wealth building, for your legacy or for your family to not know what it means not to worry. Only building on your own dreams and aspirations toward building your own empire can. Genesis 1 can help with that. That's part of our symbiosis of our growth curve. As we grow and invest in communities everywhere, we each then hold a piece of those holdings through Gen 1, and we then can invest in projects that bring about viable, sustainable, and prosperous growth and development, one community at a time, globally. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, says that sanctions across the world could eat away at the dollar's global dominance and boost the use of crypto. This is where the Genesis One ecosystem can help impact each and every one of your lives by first solidifying your base and our core in projects that touch everyone's lives like the Neo Genesis Cyber Lottery. Because one thing's hold true through each and every distinct culture on earth. People like games of chance and often use that to perhaps make a difference in their lives. This is what Neogenesis and the Genesis One ecosystem can bring. Now, each episode I'll be sharing with you the substance of Genesis One and as we progress through this journey together, we'll hold discussions that impact our direction because one thing to keep in mind is that for us to be harmonious, your voices need not only be heard, but they need to be listened to. Other aspects of the Neogenesis Network, like the Neogenesis Sportsbook and Virtual Casino, are still in development. As we have agreed upon the layouts and the designs for the app and the interface, but in the next episode, we'll go more in depth on the Neogenesis Sportsbook and Virtual Casino. Now, let's get back to our video as we've been going through a lot of downtown Chicago. And now we're getting hungry. So, we're going to look for some place that we can go and eat. We found a real cozy, nice restaurant, and we decided it's perfect to have dinner. It's the Indian Garden, a lovely restaurant looking over East Ontario Street from the second floor of a building they share with some offices. The restaurant has some really nice, intimate elements going for it. Really, a nice place to take that special person in your life. The restaurant offers North Indian regional cuisine with full table service, reminiscent of French service of fine dining restaurants. For drinks, we had a mango lassi, an Indian mango cream churned yogurt drink, and my wife had an after dinner masala chai tea. As you can tell, they have an expansive menu with offerings from Bombay, Delhi, and the Goa region, inclusive of many vegetarian as well as many omnivore offerings. We had the uh, Punjabi samosas, which are well-seasoned deep-fried pastries filled with potatoes and peas and uh, chicken samosas which were well spiced finely ground chicken which is substituted for the potatoes and peas as well as uh, chicken 65 
which is a dish of boneless pieces of chicken soaked in spices, deep fried and sauteed with green onion and ginger. I'm telling you, take my word for it, it was really good. We also had maligatwani soup, which is made of lentils and chicken stock heightened with flavors of fresh herbs and garnished with shredded chicken. Now for our entrees, we chose Gosh Rogan Josh, but instead of with lamb, we got it with tender pieces of goat cooked in a cardamom sauce and a lamb biryani, which is a small cauldron of basmati rice and pieces of lamb flavored with saffron and cooked with Indian herbs on low heat. We also added a side of puri, which is a deep fried puffed wheat bread. And for dessert, we had mango kuffi, which is a traditional mango Indian ice cream. After dinner, we left and walked back to the Drake while enjoying uh, the downtown nightscapes. We are approaching the uh, Chicago Water Tower. That's a national register of historic landmarks. Landmark? <laughs> when it survived the uh, Great Chicago Fire of 1871. And it houses tall machinery and a water pump that was built in 1869 that handled all of the city of Chicago's water needs.
let me also say if you'd like to please consider joining our patreon to continue supporting our efforts in bringing the genesis one ecosystem to fruition for us for you and the billions globally and please don't forget to like subscribe and follow our social media feeds and don't forget to drop a comment below with questions about genesis one or our tour through downtown Chicago. Thank you for joining us at Genesis One through this tour of downtown Chicago. See you in our next episode as we close out the Chicago series and delve a little bit more into the Neo Genesis Sportsbook and Virtual Casino. Thank you again. Goodbye. <laughs>